Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Investigation with your girl, Chanel Black. Now, we're going to jump straight into an investigation with Russell Brand. Now, Russell is trending right now because he is headlining for allegations. Now, these allegations, he... I don't know what he's claiming. I know that I saw a clip of him saying that you know, he, he may have had a rough past or a past, but everything was consensual. I'm like, wait a minute, Russell. I mean, what are you being accused of? Well, as of today, the allegations have come out and they are serious. They're so serious, I can't even say them over here on YouTube, girl. You got to Google them. So we're going to pull some cards and find out who is the real Russell Brand per these cards. Okay, we're going to ask these cards what they got to say about Russell Brand. And then we're going to ask these courts what they have to say about what Russell did or didn't do. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Okay, Divine Angels, give us the best cards from this deck to describe the energy around Russell Brand and what we need to know about him. Who is he? Behind the scenes. Okay, but that's important. It's behind the scenes is what we need to know. And also, what did he do behind the scenes that's being revealed in the news right now? Let us know. Let's call in the energy of Russell. Russell, the energy seems very inconsistent, but we're going to see. Let's go. So, let's cut these cards for Russell. Now, Russell, you got nice hair. I'll give you that, okay? You know, all your hair, your eyebrows, your beard, everything is nice, Russell. But those eyes telling me you up to no good a little bit, okay? If I'm just going to go by the picture, okay? Them eyes saying that you have been doing something wild, baby, okay? And it's catching up with you, Russell, okay? Like a wild horse, like a wild stallion, okay? So we're going to see what these cards got to say. Hmm. All right, go ahead, Russell, be honest, okay? Because when you go ahead and be honest, you can get past it faster. Who are you, Russell, behind the scenes? What do we need to know? Clear your conscience, Russell. Ooh, there you go, Russell. Good job. What else we need to know about you, Russell? Mm-hmm. Anything else? Okay, Russell, thank you. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Child Nature card. It speaks about Russell may have the tendency to abuse animal people and the environment. Okay, Russell tried to leave that out. I want that to be known. And the guide also places financial gain and control over um, impart, imparting spiritual insights. And also could have issues with females. Okay, we just want to let that be known. Okay, because Russell eyes tell me I had to check the bottom of the deck. Okay, all right, let's go on. Now we got the pioneer. Russell said he's a pioneer in the light. He shows you that he has a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Is that what y'all see? Okay, behind the scenes, it says he's compulsive, need to keep moving. Okay, so maybe a little ADHD or ADD, whichever one. That maybe. Okay, so, but it's a heart here. It's like in the middle of it all, that's a heart. So that's promising. I do see that. But compulsive need to keep moving on. Okay. It's giving me gypsy energy. Next, we got Prince. He's showing that he has romantic charm and potential for power. Okay. So, he's showing up as a prince. Coming in as the, I guess, the honey, the prince to save the day. But, the shadow attribute speaks about using his power for self, um, for some type of self-empowerment. Next, we got... Um, he's an alchemist. Uh, he trans he has the light attribute is what he shows. Says he has transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Okay, that's probably what he does on his YouTube channel. But behind closed doors, doors it says he misuse of the power and knowledge that comes through spiritual uh, practice. So it's a lot of spiritual. Um, well, no, I didn't see. That. Okay, I thought I saw a lot of spiritual stuff here, but a lot of power. I see. Ooh, I see a lot of things that come around his power. What power did he got with a YouTube channel? Then we got mother. Okay, I don't know if he has mother issues, but also it speaks about he has you know patience, unconditional love. He has a joy in giving birth to life. Okay, so giving life to things. Also, the shadow attribute speaks about smothering or abandoning children. 
instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. Mm, that's a bad mother. Controlling mother. Um, something around children. And then he's a shapeshifter. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, his eyes do give me shape shifting. It says skills at navigating through difficult um, levels of consciousness. It also speaks about the ability to see the potential in everything. That's good, right? That's what he shows. But what he don't show, it speaks about projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. So it seems like, you know, I don't see too much, too much. Um, it shows a lot about romantic charm. Okay, but then he also used that romantic charm for some type of power over someone. Okay, but why? Okay, now this is cute when you hide the flowers behind your back, but it it also demonstrates that you also putting something behind your back, like you either leaving something in your past, or you hiding something, or you like keeping something at bay. Like you know, I'll give you this. I got a surprise for you, but first give me a kiss. First give me this. First give me that. Give me a hug. Give me this. I'm I'm picking up that. Um, and it's coming across in his mind. He feel like that's charming. I'm just, I'm just being charming, but it's also speak like you come across as giving out this motherly energy, which means you come across as somebody that's caring. You know, you may be patient. You know, you showing. You know, you have some type of um, nurturing side to him. But also, once he started giving you that, it's almost like it's kind of like grooming because it's smothering you and then it's like abandoning children or smothering the children installing, instilling some type of guilt in somebody that's young okay because they want to become independent or leave or, or, or you know, walk away from a situation but then the shapeshifter is like he, sh he tried to, sh you know change who he is try to change he'll change for any situation like a chameleon he blends in okay you know but it also says he changes on a conscious level so that could be growth but also you know you projecting images that serve your personal agenda in that moment okay it's like he he, he has a way of kind of making things work for him in the moment okay and that's just what i'm picking up and he does it in like a charming type of way, a very charming type of way. Now, whether he thinks it's bad or good or whatever, you know, it could be just his personality. Yeah, I mean, he could be a Leo, whether you know, or or maybe a Aries. Some people say, "Oh, you just lying to get what you want," okay, and you're using your um, your status to get it. But then he was like, that's a benefit. You know, it's just like, that's him. That's who he is, okay? It's not like he's lying. But then you kind of are. You shape-shifting for the moment because you'll change. You'll be different within 24, 48 hours possibly. It's like, do you even remember what happened? So let's kind of um, dig in a little bit into these allegations. What do we need to know about the allegations? Um, are they true or not? I mean, let us see what we need to know about them because it's a lot of them. giving me he may not even because um, with this oh it's a lot we're gonna take them all because it, um his eyes got lost a little bit and then they these cards start pouring out so we're gonna see what came out here the first card we got the sea beacon fairy guidance but where will it lead you so it's almost like he questioning his um he's he's questioning the steps that he made in the past now maybe he became a better person. I mean, I guess that's possible. Um, but did you, or are you trying to run from a rough past, a rocky past that's full of a, a lot of emotions, a lot of this sea, this a dark sea, okay, swampy waters. But it's like you, you got guidance, but where did it lead you? Just for you, you still got to face whatever in your past, okay? This dark past, you still got to face. With this three, third party energy, ten. Okay, almost like a completion, a powerful energy shift is happening right now for him. Very powerful. Now, will he learn and grow or will this take him down? Okay, this the eclipse mermaid. It's time to come up, honey, and face the jury. 
because the fiery past again in the sea uh, emotions a lot of emotions a lot of feelings um, and then this water is so rocky, it's so swampy. This water right here is bloody. This water right here is just so choppy. This is red with anger. Okay. Uh, blood. Ugh. Power of three. Again, three again. Okay. And this is nine. It's like this, almost three people coming together to kind of finally come to a complete stage. To finally get their healing. Okay. The power of three. Again, it's something about three that's happening here. You know, things happen in three by the third time. Three strikes you out. Or a third time, a charm. Whichever one. It says, men a broken heart fairy. Healing from heartbreak and heartache. Now, I feel like these three, I'm calling them witches because they're showing up. They three, the power of three. Three females, three feminine energies, or a three witnesses or three something coming up okay three lawyers honey but this is a healing this is healing for them because remember uh it took three of them to come together to kind of finally get the ball rolling here okay and this is healing process for them with this alchemist it's almost giving me finally being able to see coming out of a trance because it's almost like either they was given something or they was in love or they felt like, yeah, they felt like they had some type of feelings for them. So they kept, I guess they kept quiet for protection. And then they finally came out and realized who they dealing with. We got the winged seer. All uh, the eyes are watching. Okay. It look like the powers that be are watching and tuning in. Okay. They tuning into your YouTube, baby. You see, you see clearly. Okay. Clairvoyance. Okay, so yeah, I sit, I feel like his eyes, just like when his eyes just opened up and all these cars start pouring out. At this point right now, yeah, he see clearly. But I didn't, I didn't hear no apology. He said everything was consensual, which could, could possibly, because I, I see women here that are brokenhearted and also healing from heartbreak. But at the same time, they were young, okay, and they thought it was love. Okay, they feel played, and now they know they were played. Okay, because he was shape shifting, and then with this alchemist energy, it's like mixing in. This could be mixing in some type of chemistry. It could be sexual chemistry. It could be uh, energy, just you know, heart energy. It could be some type of actual substance. Okay, that the girls was in a trance. And now they're not in the trance. And this trance could easily be, like I say, they feel like they love him. They feel like they care for him. They feel like they protected him. They feel like they thought that, that maybe they was um, guilty or something. Maybe they was equally involved. And that's why they didn't speak up. It's, it's a lot going on here because he came across as romantic. Okay? Remember. And it could be romantic in a way that he really thought that he was dating them or romantic and grooming. Okay? Okay, because I get it sneaky. Um, shape shifting energy like again something in his childhood could possibly have occurred okay if we can go back to his childhood which i think i'm probably have to sneak into we can probably see what's going on with this motherly energy okay he probably thought he was coming in in some type of way of healing in his mind let men tell it they, that's what they think they do they think they um that they once actually heal you even though they once leave you with a uh, single mother leave you with diseases you can't get rid of leave you with heartbreak soul ties how that's healing but let's move on girl let's get back to um russell okay so it says you see clearly here so something he's seeing clearly now but candy cane angel uh-uh not giving the little girls the candy again enticing it's enticement of who? Um, I, I have some candy for you. The old time trick. Back in the day, the 90s, you know. Give a kid some candy. You lure, you can lure them away. Uh, it's time for a treat. Like, okay. It's almost like, now I see this in two ways. I see this in, you know, maybe that this was something that he was into. Okay. The youth. But then I see, again, this grooming. Like giving candy to a baby. Giving candy to a kid and kind of having them coming to you okay and it was a treat for them okay draft allegedly draft a flower fairy sweet memories 
like I see these girls right here, these three witches, okay, which represent the, the youth, the young girls that was in the trance. I feel, or, or the, because or, two would seem like they was in trance. One seemed like she wide open, okay. So I don't know what that's all about, but it's like some type of memories here. 11, divine memories and coming out of this. Okay, anyway. So, Russell done disappeared, girl. Okay. You missed someone's shallow grave. He thought he put this, buried this a little bit. Okay. But it, it's coming back, Russell. Okay. You can disappear, but the reading going to keep on going, honey. 